Despite battling meningitis and lung damage that required continuous oxygen, actor Donald Sutherland remained active in film and television until 2020. In his final years, he struggled with prostate cancer and severe lung disease, ultimately passing away on June 20th, 2024. Born on July 17, 1935 in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada, Sutherland enjoyed a career spanning over 50 years. Known for his versatility and distinctive presence, he played a wide range of characters from unconventional soldiers to complex detectives. His breakthrough role came in 1967 with the war film The Dirty Dozen, where he starred alongside Lee Marvin Charles Bronson and Telly Savalas as one of the rebellious soldiers tasked with a dangerous mission behind enemy lines. This film catapulted Sutherland into the spotlight and set the stage for a series of successful roles in the 1970s. In the early 1970s, Sutherland became a star in M.A.S.H., directed by Robert Altman, where he played the wisecracking surgeon Hawkeye Pierce. The film, a dark comedy set during the Korean War, was a critical and commercial success, and his performance alongside Elliot Gould helped cement his reputation as a leading actor in Hollywood. That same decade, he starred in Kelly's Heroes, another war comedy, this time alongside Clint Eastwood, Telly Savalas, and Don Rickles. In the movie, Sutherland played the quirky teen commander, Oddball, delivering one of his most memorable and beloved performances. In 1971, Sutherland starred in the thriller Clute alongside Jane Fonda, who won an Academy Award for her role. The movie, directed by Alan J. Pakula, featured Sutherland as a private detective investigating a missing person. His nuanced portrayal earned him critical acclaim and further established him as a versatile and capable actor. He and Fonda later collaborated again on the anti-war documentary, FTA, in 1972, which was a counterculture statement against the Vietnam War. Throughout the 1970s, Sutherland continued to build an impressive filmography. He starred in Nicholas Regg's psychological horror masterpiece, Don't Look Now, alongside Julie Christie, where he played a grieving father haunted by mysterious occurrences in Venice. The movie is considered one of the best in the genre and showcased Sutherland's ability to handle intense emotional drama. In 1976, he starred in The Eagle Has Landed, a World War II thriller directed by John Sturges, alongside Michael Caine and Robert Duvall, in which he played an IRA sympathizer involved in a plot to kidnap Winston Churchill. Sutherland also took on the titular role in Federico Fellini's Casanova, delivering a memorable performance as the infamous seducer in this visually stunning and surreal biographical movie. He continued his successful run with roles in Bernardo Bertolucci's epic film, 1900, where he starred alongside Robert De Niro and Gerard Depardieu, playing a chilling fascist villain in the historical drama set in Italy. He further expanded his range in the 1978 science fiction horror classic, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, directed by Philip Kaufman and co-starring Brooke Adams, Leonard Nimoy, and Jeff Goldblum. The movie was a critical success and remains one of the most iconic remakes in cinema history. In 1980, he starred in Robert Redford's directorial debut, Ordinary People, where he played a father dealing with the trauma of a family tragedy earning praise for his sensitive and understated performance alongside Mary Tyler Moore and Timothy Hutton. In the 1980s and 1990s, Sutherland continued to deliver remarkable performances. He appeared in A Dry White Season, a South African drama about apartheid co-starring Marlon Brando, Susan Sarandon, and Zakes Moki which earned him critical acclaim for his role as a white teacher fighting against racial injustice. He also starred in Backdraft, an action film about firefighters, 
alongside Kurt Russell William Baldwin and Robert De Niro. In 1993, he played a wealthy New York art dealer in Six Degrees of Separation, a drama co-starring Will Smith and Stockard Channing, which explored themes of race, class, and social connections. In his later years, Sutherland continued to be active in film and television. He starred in the popular TV series Dirty Sexy Money and appeared in the Hunger Games franchise as the cunning President Snow opposite Jennifer Lawrence, further endearing him to a new generation of fans. The actor is a proud father to his twin children Kiefer and Rachel Sutherland from his marriage to Shirley Douglas and three sons. Reg Angus and Rossif with wife Francine Rossett. Kiefer Sutherland, a well-known actor in his own right, has recently shared insights into his relationship with his late father. Despite Donald's significant presence in Hollywood, Kiefer disclosed that he did not have the opportunity to truly get to know his father until he reached age 15. Sutherland's remarkable career was characterized by his ability to portray various roles across genres. His collaborations with some of the most respected directors and actors have left a lasting legacy in film history. Shannon Doherty, best known for her iconic role in Beverly Hills 90210, has passed away at the age of 53 following a prolonged battle with breast cancer. Doherty became a household name in 1990 when she starred as Brenda Walsh on the popular TV series Beverly Hills 90210. She shared the screen with Jason Priestley, who played her on-screen twin brother Brandon Walsh. Their close friendship endured throughout her life. She also remained deeply connected with her co-star Luke Perry, who portrayed Dylan McKay, until his death in 2019. Doherty was diagnosed with breast cancer in February 2015. By 2017, she had announced a hopeful remission, bringing relief to her many fans and loved ones. However, in 2018, she revealed that the cancer had spread to her lymph nodes. She underwent a mastectomy in May 2016, and although she experienced a brief period of remission, the cancer returned in 2019 and progressed to stage four. Despite the severity of her illness, Doherty continued to work and face her health challenges with extraordinary bravery and determination. By June 2023, her condition had worsened as the cancer spread to her brain, necessitating more aggressive treatments. It was also discovered that the cancer had spread to her bones. In April 2024, she candidly shared with her followers that she was preparing for the end of her journey, displaying remarkable strength and openness. Born on April 12, 1971, in Memphis, Tennessee, Doherty began her acting career at a young age. She gained early recognition as Jenny Wilder in the beloved TV series Little House on the Prairie. Her career continued to blossom with roles in the 1985 teen comedy. Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, where she starred alongside Sarah Jessica Parker and Helen Hunt and the family drama, Our House, in which she appeared with Wilford Brimley and Deidre Hall. In 1988, she delivered a standout performance in the cult classic Heathers, portraying Heather Duke, one of the film's infamous Heathers, alongside Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. Doherty's career soared to new heights with her portrayal of Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210, a role she played for four seasons. Brenda quickly became a cultural icon of the 1990s, and Doherty's performance earned her two Young Artist Award nominations for Best Young Actress in a TV series in 1991 and 1992. Although she left the show in 1994, Due to reported onset tensions and creative differences, her impact on the series and the decade's television landscape was profound and lasting. In 1998, Doherty made a successful return to television as Prue Hallowell 
in the fantasy drama series Charmed. She starred alongside Alyssa Milano and Holly Marie Combs as the eldest of three witch sisters. Her character Prue was strong, protective, and instantly loved by fans. Doherty remained on the show for three seasons until her departure in 2001, and her portrayal of Prue became one of her most beloved roles. Beyond her signature TV roles, Doherty continued to act in both film and television. One of her final significant projects was the 2021 thriller Fortress, where she starred opposite Bruce Willis. This film marked her last major appearance before her health began to decline. Shannon Doherty's personal life was equally eventful. She was married three times, with her most recent marriage to photographer Kurt Iskwarienko. In 2023, Doherty filed for divorce while continuing to battle her illness. O.J. Simpson, the former American football star and actor, who famously acquitted of the murders of his ex-wife and her friend in a case that captivated the nation in 1995, passed away from prostate cancer on April 10, 2024, in Las Vegas. Simpson had publicly disclosed his battle with cancer in 2023, initially suggesting that he had overcome the illness. However, his frail appearance in his final public outings, where he was seen using a cane as recently as January 2024, indicated otherwise. Simpson first rose to prominence as a record-setting football player at both the collegiate and professional levels. After his sports career, he successfully transitioned to work as a sports commentator, actor in both film and television, and corporate spokesperson, most notably for Hertz Rent-A-Car. His life took a dramatic turn on June 12, 1994, when his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman were found brutally stabbed outside Nicole's home in Brentwood, Los Angeles. Days after the murders, the police announced their intention to arrest Simpson in connection with the case. On June 17, 1994, 95 million Americans watched live as Simpson, in the back seat of his white Ford Bronco driven by his longtime friend Al Cowlings, led police on a slow-speed chase through Los Angeles while reportedly holding a gun. The pursuit, which lasted about two hours, ended with Simpson surrendering to authorities. He was then put on trial for the murders, and in October 1995, after an 11-month legal battle, he was acquitted of all charges. While Simpson is often remembered for his football career and the high-profile trial, he also made a significant impact in Hollywood. After retiring from football in the early 1970s, Simpson began to pursue acting, initially securing minor roles before gaining more recognition. He made his film debut in The Klansman, a drama that contrasted with the action-packed roles he would later be known for. Simpson's film career gained traction with his role in the 1974 disaster movie, The Towering Inferno, where he played a heroic security officer who saved several people from a burning skyscraper. His portrayal showcased his ability to combine physical strength with emotional resonance, which helped him gain a foothold in Hollywood. His most popular acting role came in the late 1980s with the Naked Gun comedy series. Starring as Detective Nordberg, Simpson leveraged his athletic image to big comedic effect, delivering a performance that balanced physical humor with a self-aware charm. The original film, The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad, and its sequels were both commercial hits and have since become cult classics allowing Simpson to reinvent himself as a beloved comedic actor. Simpson also made numerous television appearances. He guest starred in the critically acclaimed miniseries Roots, portraying Cuddy Turi, an African warrior. His television work extended to popular series like Medical Center and Fantasy Island, and he frequently appeared in TV movies and miniseries throughout the 1970s and 1980s, 
often cast in roles that capitalized on his athletic build and charismatic screen presence. Simpson's charisma and fame also made him a highly effective spokesperson, most famously for Hertz. His commercials, which often featured him running through airports, played up his speed and agility and helped make him a household name beyond sports and entertainment circles. However, the events of 1994 and the subsequent trial deeply impacted his acting career. Although Simpson was acquitted in the criminal trial, he was later found liable for the deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman in a 1997 civil lawsuit filed by the victim's families. The $33.5 million judgment against him, coupled with intense media scrutiny and shifting public opinion, severely curtailed his professional opportunities. After the trial, Simpson struggled to find work in Hollywood and faced ongoing legal and financial difficulties. Despite the controversies that came to define his later life, Simpson remained a figure of public fascination. His journey from celebrated athlete to Hollywood personality, and ultimately to a central figure in one of the most notorious criminal cases in American history, continues to evoke strong reactions and remains a topic of widespread discussion. Actor Carl Weathers, renowned for his unforgettable role as Apollo Creed in the Rocky film series, has passed away at age 76. He died peacefully in his sleep, as confirmed by his manager and later by his family. In addition to his iconic portrayal in Rocky, Weathers made a lasting impact in the action genre with his role in the 1987 sci-fi hit Predator and became a fan favorite for his comedic performance in Happy Gilmore. He was recently recognized with a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series for his work on The Mandalorian. Born on January 14, 1948, in New Orleans, Weathers was a gifted athlete from an early age, showing talent in boxing, football, wrestling, and gymnastics. He played college football at San Diego State University where he played a key role in leading the Aztecs to victory at the Pasadena Bowl in 1969. After college, Weathers pursued professional sports and signed with the Oakland Raiders in 1970 as an undrafted free agent. He played as a linebacker in the NFL for two seasons, but eventually retired after an injury, choosing to pursue his true passion, acting. Weathers' breakthrough role came in 1976 as Apollo Creed, the charismatic and fiercely competitive heavyweight champion in Rocky. Paired against Sylvester Stallone's underdog Rocky Balboa, Weathers delivered a powerful and nuanced performance that became central to one of cinema's most iconic rivalries. Over the course of Rocky II, Rocky III, and Rocky IV, his character transformed from a formidable opponent to a trusted friend and mentor capturing audiences with his blend of bravado, athleticism, and depth. In 1987, Weathers continued his rise as an action star with his role as Major George Dillon in Predator. Starring alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger, he played a CIA operative who leads a team of elite commandos against an otherworldly foe in the jungles of Central America. Weathers' intense physical performance helped solidify his status as an action icon and his character's memorable scenes, including the now legendary handshake with Schwarzenegger, have become staples of 1980s pop culture. Weathers demonstrated his range with a shift to comedy in the 1996 film Happy Gilmore. As Chubbs Peterson, a one-handed former golf pro mentoring Adam Sandler's character, he delivered a performance filled with humor and heart. His role added a new dimension to his career and endeared him to a whole new audience, proving his versatility as an actor. In recent years, Weathers has garnered new acclaim as Grief Karga in the hit series The Mandalorian, which is part of the Star Wars universe. This role earned him a Primetime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series. Weathers also explored opportunities behind the camera, 
directing episodes of popular television shows such as Hawaii 5-0 and Chicago Med. His work as a director showcased his dedication to storytelling and his passion for the creative process. Even in his later years, he remained a vibrant presence in the entertainment world, always looking for new ways to innovate and entertain. Carl Weathers is survived by his wife, Mary Ann, and his two sons. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Please leave a comment with your thoughts and suggestions.